Johnny Van Curen back with us on this Friday, and we're talking about successful couples mm -hmm. and how they all have certain things in common. Yes, and uh, these are some characteristics that research shows, but at the same time, we really try to attain to this. Um, I think sometimes we're frustrated because we don't fit this mold. And before we go over these, we're not trying to fit this mold. We're trying to continue to develop in these areas uh, because, you know, marriage, you have a good year and a bad year, a good day and a bad day. And so these are some things that I think if you could put your attention towards, some energy towards, you're going to have good success. That is so good. So let's go through some of these things. One thing it. you say that couples should attain to is they enjoy each other's company. Yeah, and this is something you work towards. I don't think young couples that come in, I think they sometimes you can enjoy each other's company and that's easy. Uh, but sometimes I think as you get older, you got to figure out what are those things you share together. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have different things you enjoy, but find those things together. And if you don't have those, continue to work together to find those. And you say they talk to each other. Communication. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a no-brainer. I mean, you've got to be able to talk to each other. Talk about, you know, if the weather, I mean, I know we talk serious, but be able to talk to each other and, and have that as part of your relationship. So important. Okay, you've also got to be able to trust each other that's so important uh, huge and and sometimes just trust with your feelings just mm, trust that yeah. I can share something with you sometimes it's just I, I trust my life with you I mm -hmm. trust the fact that I can be vulnerable yeah. and those are big things and, and like I said this is something to attain to sometimes that's not a, a button push right exactly and they're okay this is gonna happen with an occasional <laughs> disagreement this is <laughs> this is one we think we have a disagreement and, and then it gets huge and, and sometimes we got to learn that disagreements are not a bad thing Sometimes yeah. working through those, it doesn't even mean you'll resolve it. Sometimes you agree to disagree, and I know that seems odd at times, but yes, we can have a disagreement and still be a strong couple. And you can learn so much about that person with the disagreement. You, you can. You can come out stronger from it. Absolutely, for sure. 100%. And the next thing, I think in a way, it kind of goes along with that, and that is you got to have respect for one another. Yeah, this one shows in your voice tone. It shows in your body language. It shows in how you how you set your schedule. You know, respect is not just the way you talk to each other. It's also the way you act around each other. And so, yes, we need to respect each other. We need to think about each other when we're making decisions, when we're discussing it. Absolutely. Okay, and have realistic expectations. I, I like that this one's at the end because a lot of times, especially with the younger couples, um, I think we learn as we're longer in our marriage to have realistic expectations. But I think that's about the couple, but it's also about the individual. I mm -hmm. should have realistic expectations about my wife and her about me. When we set ourselves up to fail is when our expectations don't match reality. And so I want to have those realistic expectations about each other. And I could probably add realistic expectations about myself and my ability as yes. well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Give good things that we should all strive toward in our relationships. You got it. Donnie, thank you. Working on it. If you have a question for Donnie, send it to askdonnie at news9.net or visit his website, counseling1820.com. And we'll be back.